morning, everybody. I'm in Lime Bank, Saskatchewan, here to deliver my freight. Just getting my jacket on here. Where's my toque? My toque. It's not a beanie. It's a toque. I'm gonna go inside, let them know that I'm here, and I'm gonna get in position. We're gonna get the straps off these tires, and then we're gonna get out of here. We're gonna go home. Got some big things going on, so. Monday today when I'm filming this, I'm gonna go home tonight. We'll be home before supper, hopefully. Should be. Got all day tomorrow at home. And early in the morning, my flight leaves for uh, Louisville, Kentucky on Wednesday. So I got a couple of days out in uh, Kentucky there. And then early in the morning, Friday, I board my flight to get back home. So I'm home around noon. Back in Winnipeg around noon on Friday. That's my son's birthday. He's turning one. And I'm going to rush home so I can spend his birthday with him. And then on the weekend, obviously, we have a party with our family and friends. Doctor's appointment on the Monday. we gotta, we got a full week, so there won't be any trucking for the next week, but we'll still be having fun. I hope you guys tune in. started with today's video. Today's special shout out goes to our friends at Howes Products. You can find a link to their website down below, my video in the description, all the diesel treatment products you need. Best of the best. Go check them out. There's my load. Get these off my trailer as quick as possible. It took 30 minutes exactly. Not bad. Okay, so I gotta send in my paperwork now to the office. I can send it in through what we call Transflow right here on my phone. Send it straight to the office. That way it doesn't get lost, or if my uh, copy here gets lost for whatever reason, there's another copy with them. And I'll fill out my own paperwork for my mileage on my truck. Uh, I keep track of all of my trips in a notebook on pen and paper. Uh, POD. And then we head home. I guess I can punch this into uh, I'm going to drop this trailer off at our yard first. And that is about 450 kilometers, I think. It's 450 if we take the Trans Canada all the way there. We are ready to rock and roll. Ready to go have some fun. when it softens up. It's all hard right now because it was cold last night. Yikes, it's just straight up mud when it warms up. I'm glad we didn't uh, have to deliver here when it was a little warmer. Wow. It's not even gravel, that's mud. Alright, there we go. Now we're on the asphalt. Oh yes, before I leave the yard here, I just wanted to quickly check something. Go off to the side here real quick. I wanted to check to see if it was faster to go through the two lanes across the backcountry of southern Manitoba. 
because Karen here wants me to take the four lane Trans Canada all the way there, which is nice, right? But would it be faster? We're going to check Google. Okay. Okay. No, it would not be faster. Okay. So we'll go up here about half a mile to the 709. We'll just make sure that, that highway's paved. Ah, uh, looks like it's gravel. I'm not taking gravel. Okay, then we will go up to the Trans Canada four lane. traffic lights and less towns to go through on the main highway.
All right, so that's it. Park the truck for a little bit, for about a week. You get a good rest, okay, Blue? We're gonna work hard when I come back. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to run hard to make up for it, but we're gonna have a fun week.